Islanders, welcome back to another shark related video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the O-Search shark expedition in British waters. We're going to discuss two sightings in British waters, one in Wales, one in Norfolk, a shark tooth that was found in the Isle of Arran, which looks remarkably like a great white shark's tooth, where I'm up to with my chumming endeavours, and some interesting facts about sharks that some of you may not know. Let's do it. So you've probably seen the news articles which have popped up all over the week. You know, The Independent, The Times, The Sun, The Mirror. They've all written stories about great white sharks soon to be coming to British waters. I'll talk about my own personal views about locations. I'll debunk some of the common questions I get on the channel, which I've done videos on, but we'll combine it all into one video here. About sea temperature, food sources, and more importantly, where I believe they'll be around Great Britain. O-Search, if you're not aware who they are, now I have done several videos on these guys. They're a shark tagging and tracking organization. They're based in America, off the East Coast primarily, and they've tagged over 400 sharks. Great white sharks, mostly tiger sharks, mako sharks. There is an app you can track them on. It's really quite good. I've done a few videos where sort of sharks have, have looked like they're going to cross the Atlantic, Nakumi, etc. So Chris Fisher, their expedition leader, told the Times they believe the white sharks mirror that of their other populations which they've tracked and studied and that they move north to feed from the Mediterranean. We know white sharks are in the Mediterranean. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. But he states they should, according to science, be moving out of the Mediterranean up past the Bay of Biscay. Now, the Bay of Biscay is the closest confirmed sighting of a great white shark. One was captured in 1977, and that's 177 nautical miles, which is nothing. Anyway, he states that they should be moving up past Brittany, into Cornwall, and then probably up into Scotland. So their investigations are based on tracking that shows the sharks regularly swim north to search for food. You know, in the United States, sort of New England coast, in recent years, data proves that, and they've got 400 sharks kicking about. So from most of my comments on the channel, you guys quite often are saying, South Africa and Australia have white sharks, Hawaii has white sharks, there's no way Britain's got white sharks because of the sea temperatures. Sea temperature here is actually within the optimal range in summer months and the coldest ever great white shark attack happened in Campbell Island, six degrees Celsius, which is a sub-Antarctic island south of New Zealand. I went free diving here in December. I always check water temperature, and I think it was nine degrees Celsius, so it was well within range. So O-Search confirmed they're coming here next summer. I believe they were looking for investors. They must have enough money to move their large ship across here now. They're gonna focus in the North Atlantic, and then I believe they're gonna go down into the Mediterranean. There are some scientists around that sort of debunk this theory they're like marine biologist Gregory Scommel sort of disagrees with those search they don't think they're here they said there's never been a decent sighting that we can scientifically prove either way I did a video on sightings some of the sightings the blue fox one is the best one we've got but they did say they should be here but they don't know why they're not here according to the University of Plymouth's records great whites have been spotted around the UK since 1965 around a hundred credible sightings but unconfirmed Ones are never washed up, never been captured, towed. There's loads of fishermen's stories, but ultimately we haven't had one. Worth noting though, we've never had the small tooth sand tiger sharks in our waters, and three have been confirmed now in the last year. So you can never say never, but I do believe the science backs that they should be here. I think my personal view is they are here. Small numbers, not all the time. Got to remember that there are rare fish globally. Where around Great Britain do I believe great white sharks are most likely to be found? Yes, we talk about Cornwall, but I actually believe Scotland is where they're most likely to be and off the west coast of Ireland. Why do I think that? Okay, so you see me swim all the time. I've got the drone up with Atlantic grey seals. The island has a large seal colony at the south of the island. Well, that's nothing compared to what Scotland has to offer. Approximately 36% of the world's grey seals breed in the UK, of which 90% are from colonies in Scotland. I always say it, where there are seals, there tend to be sharks. So that's why I believe the main concentration would likely to be the Outer Hebrides, Orkney and the Monarch Isles. There's orcas up there. I don't believe there's enough orcas to put off great white sharks. Another commonly asked question, if they're here, why haven't we seen them? And that is a fair question. And I like to balance everything here on science. Let's look back to 1970s, Cape Cod, which is a peninsula in Massachusetts, United States of America, had 
virtually no great white sharks, but this area has seen a massive rise in sharks in the last 50 years. Experts believe this is due to the number of seals that have migrated towards these regions. The US government's efforts to protect the seals have ended up helping the sharks thrive, and seals are obviously an open source of food. A bit like what we've got in Scotland, but actually we've got more seals in Scotland than they have on that coast. I'm led to believe. However, you've got to remember there is a decline in great white sharks globally. For 16 million years, sharks populations were healthy, and then in the last 20 years, due to us humans, they've declined massively. So it is pretty savage, really. No white shark populations near us in the Mediterranean. There are great whites in the Mediterranean, as you know, around Italy. I think the largest ever great white south of Sicily. So their numbers are relatively low. We do see them pop up swimming through Spain, etc. So a 4.5 metre female was captured off Sicily in 1908. Great whites, which are the largest predatory fish on earth, can be found throughout the world's oceans. Mostly in cool waters, temperate waters, as you can submit that they like warm waters. Tiger sharks, absolutely, but not great whites. Uh, that's why they're spotted in South Africa, California, New Zealand. Those waters are very similar to ours. So another scientist, Gavin Naylor, the director of the Florida program for shark research, believes that says there's no reason why white sharks aren't in our waters. You know, I've been talking to Osearch several times. I've actually messaged Chris Fisher about this. At the time of this video, I don't think he's replied, but I'll put his reply in the first comment if I've got it by the time I post this video. So onto the shark sightings this week, basically the news, the Sun newspaper absolutely sensationalized this one. Oliver Phillips, a 38 year old, saw a two meter fin. Two meters, that'd be like a bloody megalodon in Waxham in Norfolk on Sunday. Okay, I just caught something. I ran up to a group of seals, they got scared of me, they all run in right next to you. Look at him, I know. There's a shark right there, and the seals have all just got scared of me. They've all gone in the water right there. Clearly, an Atlantic grey seal bottling. For those who don't know, it's a very common for seals to perform something called bottling. This is how they rest or sleep, essentially. Uh, they hang or bob vertically in the water. It's a way of conserving energy. There's loads of news articles that pop up every time someone claims they've seen a shark. I covered one in Goring in Sea. Seal bottling, not a shark. Uh, however, they always tend to go viral. There's another one. Gwynedd Wales, essentially. Again, news article claims there's a massive killer shark out there. It's a basking shark. Basically, it came close to uh, an inflatable. Now, basking sharks were common in these waters, May to October. Uh, Wales is only across the water from where I've been today. They can grow up to 26 feet, so 7.9 meters. They're quite a slow moving shark. Generally, they can be found on their own or in large groups. Uh, and they sort of filter feed on plankton. In that last video, when I was out on the tiny boat, we saw loads of plankton out there. They're not aggressive to humans. The harmless. However, there has been a recorded fatality in British waters caused by basket sharks, which I'll talk about in another video. So I have actually been out chumming today. Uh, I did that great white shark chumming video. I didn't see the point in videoing every time I go out chumming unless something comes up. I've always got cameras. I've got loads of cameras here, but I didn't see anything. I'm going to change a few things. So I've been out several times now. I think you guys will agree. There's no point uploading countless videos of chumming if nothing comes. However, to mix it up, change the oil that I'm using now for the chum. It's called Rubby Dubby. It's supposed to be good stuff, so we'll try that out on the next one. I'll video the next one, and I plan to actually catch some sharks. Catch and release. Taupe sharks, blue sharks, threshers, anything, anything, any sharks you can get hold of, really. Video them. We've got the underwater submarine. Uh, I want to go out at night time, just the tides haven't quite worked, or first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Obviously I'm in Tidal Harbour, you can see it behind me. I am planning on towing a seal with a camera built in while out. That could be quite interesting to see what happens, you never know. We've got short fin Atlantic Mako sharks here. I've also got, this is not, none of this gear is sponsored by the way, there's links to everything as always, an underwater fishing camera. So this thing, it's called a water wolf, it's not sponsored. Purchase this with my own money, essentially. It's got a camera on the end here and you put it 
in your fishing line at the end where the bait is or your lure or whatever so when the when i'm doing taupe fishing you know it's got a breaking strength of something like 200 pounds so a taupe's not going to snap there where this is on the line it does full high definition footage i think it's got night vision it records for like three hours i don't know it's got lights built into it so a built-in microphone so it should be quite good for capturing when the sharks bite i'm looking forward to trying that out something different maybe we can incorporate it into the seal that i'm going to tow i've already got this where i put a gopro in a homemade sort of device which you could put underneath the seal or whatever see what's happening but i want more of a down facing angle so we'll keep trialing keep trialing that sort of stuff so this week I was sent a picture of a shark tooth. It's not a large shark tooth found on a beach in the Isle of Arran. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth looking at. I am no expert on shark teeth or whether it's a tooth or a fossil. I had a bit of a look. I don't know, what do you guys think? Fairly recent tooth from a shark or is this a fossil? What I like to do is obviously compare them. It's not very big, as you can see, it's got a one centimeter square next to it. It was found on a beach. I'll show you the footage of where. I'll show you the location here now as well. Let's compare it to some shark teeth that we know are confirmed in our waters. So off the bat, it does look like a juvenile great white shark tooth. First things first, I don't think it's a thresher shark looking at their teeth. Not a Greenland shark, not from one of those. Uh, in comparison to a short fin mako shark, the root looks completely different there as well. Blue shark, uh, different shape. They're more sort of jagged. Comparing it to a great white shark tooth, very similar. What do you guys think? It's not a poor beagle. The root shape of the tooth is completely different there. It's not a taupe shark either. Uh, their teeth, totally different shape. But yeah, a few closer images. I mean, you can see here Megalodon fossil versus a great white shark tooth. Obviously, coloration is different, root coloration, size. You know, Hopefully, some of you guys know a bit more about that than me. Have a skeet, see what you think there. Right, let's move on. Okay, so sharks being around for 450 million years. They predate dinosaurs by a long time and they survived five mass extinction events. So the most harmful thing to sharks, as I've mentioned already, is us humans. We have really damaged their populations. The first recorded shark attack was in 1580 off Portugal. Sharks don't have any bones. Yeah, they're like, a, they have a cartilaginous skeletal system. So they don't have any bones at all, other than obviously their jaw, which is completely separate to their skull, but that enables them to be so agile in the water and lightweight, essentially. Uh, which is why when I do catch, obviously, the taupe sharks, maybe some blue sharks and other species, bald eagle will be nice. So different sharks reproduce in different ways. Some produce egg cases, some birth live young from internal eggs, some are just live births, so yeah, interesting. Uh, the whale sharks, which I've swam with in Mexico, will overlay a little bit of footage here. They can grow up to 61 feet, approximately 18.8 meters. Although they're classed as a slow-moving shark, here I am about 10 miles off the Mexican coast and I could not keep up with it. Beautiful creatures. Now this one blew my mind when I first heard it. Greenland sharks are the world's oldest living vertebrae. Scientists estimate that they can live for over 400 years. It blows your mind to think that there could be one swimming around in their confirmed British waters that has been around in the 17th century. Again, I've covered all the sharks known to be in British waters on a previous video. Mako sharks are the fastest sharks in our waters. They reach a top speed of 46 mile an hour, cruise around 31 mile an hour. So yeah, you're not catching one of them easy. And just to finish off, for anyone who's worried about swimming in British waters, you're more likely to die taking a selfie than you are from a shark attack or anything to do with sharks. And that's worldwide. So bear that one in mind. So guys, hope that's been somewhat informative. When I've got some concrete information for most search i'll obviously post it follow me on instagram and i get asked about this clothing brand all the time it's through dark it's designed by the uk special forces sbs guys a couple of guys called louis and staz tested it out parachuting on the boat and adventures paragliding and it's absolutely nails so yeah there's a link in the description for that sort of stuff i don't receive any money for you guys using that link or anything like that but the guys have been good enough to send me some gear i, I rate it highly i've worn it for years even before that so i'll leave it here See you on a chumming video very soon. Have a good week, guys. Enjoy.